First, there were two kids just sitting in a car. Yeah, so, uh, good game the other day, huh? Yeah, Aaron Gray was looking good. He Aaron, got another double-double. Aaron Gray is a beast. And then... Yeah, I know. Whoa, been... what's that? What? Are those zombies? Zombies. What? They had to escape. days from now to get supplies we need to get on the plane. So we should figure out what the chances of us surviving the five days are. See how many people the zombies can infect. Alright, we're going to use an exponential equation for this. Why is that, Ben? Well, gee, I'll show you. It's an exponential equation. It keeps growing. With uh, the zombie infection, it won't stop growing. It'll keep infected every day. So in Maine, there is roughly 1.2 million people. And we start out initially with three zombies, and each zombie will infect 12 people, and every zombie that's infected will also infect 12 people, and we need five days to get on the airplane and get out of here. Right. So the question is, in five days, will there still be, still be people left not infected? All right, so on a calculator, we would do three times 12 to the fifth. Which would equal 746,496 people infected in five days. There's roughly 1.2 million people in Maine. We would take 1.2 million and subtract our amount of people who are infected. So that'd be 746,496 and that would equal... 453,504 people left. We're going to do the equation backwards just to make sure. Alright, so 3 is the initial number of zombies, 12 is how many each zombie will infect, and T represents the amount of days it will take for the population of Maine, which is 1.2 million, to be infected. So the first thing we're going to do is divide this by 3. And that comes out to 12 times the number of days equals 400,000. We are going to multiply 12 by itself until we get close to or over 400,000. So 12 times 12 equals, that would be 12 squared, 12 cubed, 12 to the fourth, 12 to the fifth, that is 248,000, and then 12 to the 6th, that means that's about 2 million, so that's way more than the 400,000 mark we were at. So I'd say it would probably be a midway through that 5th day that everybody in Maine would be infected. So to solve this by graphing, we would enter 3 times 12 to the x, which would equal this exponential growth. And since we put, this is just a, the function overall, the exponential function, since we wanted 5 uh, to be our days, we would substitute x for 5, and this is going to take a lot of zooming out, because it is a very high number, and once we zoom out enough, eventually, there it is, then we click on that, and as you can see down here, it says... 746,496, which was the amount of people that we got would be infected after five so days. basically this means part way through the fifth day, everybody in the state of Maine is going to be infected, which means that we need to be on that plane as soon as possible. We need to start getting ready and we need to get plane tickets. Yeah, yeah, we definitely do. Um, because if we don't get out of there before the, before the end of the fifth
Chase and myself, we just did the rolling down the hill uh, scene in this movie called, uh, I don't know what this movie's called. We're helping my friends Cole Chase and Ben Young. Right there. Hey, there he is. Up, uh, we just rolled down the hill. Uh, very cold. My toes are numb. Any major film director, please reach out to us. We we can do any kind of movie. We can roll really good. We'll be in Transformers or movies like uh, Iron Man, perhaps. I'll play a girl part. I don't care. Uh... Oh, you're recording. <laughs> you were trouble when you walked in. Shame on me.